Hello everyone, my name is Dilip. You are watching the Data Labs. In this video, we will learn about use relationship DAC function. So let's uh, move to a Power BI window. And here you can see that uh, in uh, data view, we I have uploaded two tables. One is date and the another is sales. So in sales table, you can uh, see that uh, we have product table. Sorry, we have product column, order, date, delivery, quantity, unit price and sales amounts. So these are the details available in sales and in date table uh, we have a date column month month name and year and in relationship view uh, i have created a relationship between uh, date and order date and delivery date but as you know uh, in the uh, tableau uh, date tableau data model relationship can be created on single column only multiple column relationship is not supported by the engine and this is the reason you can see that like uh, here uh, uh, date and order date relationship is active however the date and delivery date is inactive so this is inactive relationship and this is the uh, active relationship and this is just because a constraint of tableau data model because it does not support multiple column relationship between two tables okay so uh, so uh, suppose we uh, want to calculate uh, the sales amount by delivery date right rather than uh, as uh, this is the default active relation so uh, we can easily create a uh, sales uh, amount by order date but whenever we need to create a uh, sales amount to total them uh, sales amount by delivery date then we need a uh, huge relationship functions uh, function to activate the inactive relationship uh, between uh, uh, like uh, two tables right and here a uh, huge relationship will help us in uh, calculating the sales amount about by delivery date so let's uh, move to a uh, report view and uh, calculate the sales amount so like uh, here uh, i have already created table uh, date uh, and the total sales uh, by order date so i have used the date from date table and total sales from uh, sales table right here but uh, uh, the second uh, measure we need to calculate is total sales by delivery date and in uh, that case we need to use a uh, calculate function because see uh, calculate function will help us in activating a inactive relationship uh, during the evaluation of an expression and in that case we need uh, the help of calculate as well as use relationship so let's uh, create a measure just right click on this and new measure and just give the name as uh, total sales by delivery data right and start with calculate function then sum here we need to pass an expression so we need to sum the sales amount right so let's select sales amount now we uh, in filter part we uh, we need to uh, pass a uh, use relationship function and in use relationship function we have to pass Two columns one is from like uh, dimension table and one is from a uh, fact table which is uh, uh, which is uh, the relationship which is inactive right so we have used her uh, date so date date and the relationship with the, the sales table is uh, inactive relationship that is delivery date right just close it and now our function is ready just hit enter And now we have created a, uh, another measure uh, for delivery date. Okay, just select it and change the format as let's try this and uh, now drag this uh, to this table. Okay, so now you can see that we have another uh, column like uh, we have already uh, calculated the measure. So we have another column to uh, total sales by delivery date and it's showing uh, correctly as the total uh, uh, sales amount by delivery date. So these are the amounts by uh, order date. So uh, on 16th of November, $39,600 amount has been ordered, but uh, there is no delivery here. Also, there is no delivery on 8th of December. On 26th of uh, November, uh, we delivered $6,760 okay so the uh, these are the sales amount by delivery date okay so uh, you can see that use relationship is very useful function in DAX and with the help of uh, this 
we can activate uh, any inactive relationship between uh, two tables so this is all about use relationship function hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and comment have a good day bye bye